we're back at the Colon Caves, where a rescue is underway to save a trapped caver. While we watch this rescue unfold, we'll also consider the clinical presentation and management of colorectal cancer. If you watched the sketch on CRC screening, then you know the Colon Caves are no stranger to cave threats, like this mega crab, our recurring symbol for cancer. While many patients with CRC don't often have symptoms in the early stages, when symptoms do arise, they're usually dependent on the location of the primary tumor. So we split the scene into right and left sides based on how you would look at a patient or any imaging of a patient. So the left side is to our right and vice versa. Uh oh. I think there may be some aftershocks, and it's looking like these rocks have obstructed the entrance of this L-shaped cave. Speaking of obstruction, left-sided tumors typically present with obstructive symptoms because the left colon is narrower than the right colon and thus more likely to become obstructed. These symptoms include changes in bowel habits like constipation, changes in stool caliber, and blood streaked stools. A commonly tested finding is the apple core lesion seen on barium contrast enema, which is caused by narrowing of the bowel lumen. The barium in the region of the tumor creates the appearance of an apple core because the tumor occupying the area prevents contrast from filling the whole lumen. Uh, hold up. This rescuer looks like he's not going to stick around. Urgently needs to use the bathroom. A reminder that some patients with CRC, specifically left-sided tumors involving the rectum, may present with rectal pain and tenesmus, which is the distressing urge to defecate. Passage of fresh blood, called hematochesia, also occurs more frequently with left-sided tumors due to proximity to the anal verge. And this bright red lava pouring from the cave should help you recall hematochesia. 